Hey everyone, what's your scent of the day? Um, I got on a Roja Kayaku by Ensar Oud and um, the House of Oud's Oud, kind of comparing them side to side, uh, playing around um, with the review. Uh, so I thought that would be fun. Um, I, I should have applied with you guys. I got antsy and applied first thing and just started smelling away Why I was taking notes. Anyways, I'm Brandon with Therapeutic Fragrance. Thanks for finding the channel. We have an oud one for you. It has oud in the perfume name. I've tried this house before. I ignored this house before. I'm not ignoring it anymore. This is real oud by the House of Oud. This is uh, the Crop 2018. This is real oud in this. So House of Oud in Crop 2018 on this one. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, we're back with the House of Oud Crop 2018, um, coming in at $400 for 75 ml. Uh, this is a pricier uh, um, offering, so I hope there's real stuff in there. According to the, the House of Oud, it focuses on the deep, dark woodsiness of the this year's harvest which has a power well beyond the mintier and fresher harvest of previous releases. This is an oud for lovers of all things potent and pungent. Um, yeah, so it's notes, oud, palo santo, wood. That's it. Huh. That's it, too. Um, I don't know of any other oud perfume on the market. Um, besides the oil that showed at the beginning of the video, that is just two ingredients. Um, that's it. So, of course, it's 2018. Um, Andrea Cosati is the nose behind this. I don't know if Palo Santo is truly the only thing, or I mean, I don't know why you need a fancy nose for two ingredients. Maybe different levels to alcohol. This is currently getting a 4.8 out of 5 on Fragranica, only five votes. Uh, pretty expensive, so not many people have it, but people that have it love it. We'll get into that in a second. Um, it, it, oud's build is unisex. Ladies know if you're into oud or not. Uh, on this oud in particular, it is pungent and funky, like it's mentioned. So I, I'm going to go 80% masculine, 20% feminine on this one. Um, let's get into it. So right away. Oh yeah, it, it's real, it's, yeah, uh, it's real Oud. Whose house is this? Oud's house. Kung Pao Oud right off the top. Uh, my lights literally lit up when I put this on. I wasn't expecting uh, a strong whiff of Oud. I put their stuff on before. Um, not that their stuff didn't have Oud in it before. It just was so light and phased out so quick. I didn't give it a, a fresh thought. I'm not being fair to the house. I don't know which one it was. I mean, my mind just moved on kind of thing. Just moved on to another sample. Uh, this one came in a package I got from Lucky Scent. They, they know I love Oud. And um, this is a new offering. And I was like, House of Oud, really? I put it in, excited. It, real deal off the top. Uh, it, with, with the top, how it opened, I was like at 400 bucks. If this lasts a long time, this this could be a still compared to oud oils I've been buying and, and getting. Not really any fecal or barnyard in it. Uh, when, this is not a beginner oud though. That being said, that, that's a big warning, warning, warning. Not a beginner oud. This is your first time smelling oud. It, there's just a nuance that you gotta get used to first that other ouds introduce you to. And then you, you just, somehow it becomes addicting and to your nose. It's kind of like bitters, you know, how you get used to adult drinks and whatnot. You, you just grow accustomed to them and, and oud makes you feel a certain way. This is one that could easily turn you off if it's your first smell or not. 
I've had guys now that I've given them a strong oud and they fall in love with that first name. So, but I know like a oud Yusuf or um, a lot of the fill ouds, the lighter colored fill ouds are the ones that let people uh, sniff first. The aquatic metallic and the fill ouds that I always talk about, let them sniff those first. I mean, it's just addicting like crazy. Okay, let's move on. Um, this is a heavy, earthy oud. Earthy, earthy, earthy. We're talking forest ground, not quite mushroomic, but that tone, that level of earthiness, dark soil, just yummy. <laughs> oud lovers know what I'm talking about when I go earthy, and that's a scoring I have on all my ouds. Um, medicinal, through and through, getting the full medicinal sniff to the head with with that earthiness. You, if you never smelt it, you'd be like, what the heck is this? It does take a while getting used to, but yeah. If you're starting with oud and you, this is your first video, I mean, start with those three mil vials. Don't apply them to skin and just take a sniff every once in a while. You're gonna find yourself sniffing it more and more and more. And then I, I've described this before. It's like when you get into the ocean when it's kind of cold outside, you just dip that one foot in and run back a little bit with your kids. And then you let it go ankle deep and then you let it go knee deep. And before you know it, you're letting your shorts get a little bit wet and whatnot. Tell who it is, you keep sniffing more. And now you want to tap a little on your skin, seeing how it reflects. It's magic when it works with your skin chemistry. Magical stuff. The Palo Santo is just a right mixture on this. Usually it's sandalwood. I'm mixing with my oods. I've never done a Palo Santo uh, with it. Just never thought about it. Done a cedar, not Palo Santo, but beautiful mixture. Works. It, it's fine. That's what adds the uh, the mintiness in there that they talked. the house talked about. It, the oud changes. Oud is like perfume. So the oud itself is the top part and base here. And that's something to get used to when you're getting into oud also. So you're not pulling out all the notes you're familiar with. The oud's actually changing and there are its its own notes. They're there. The properties of the smells are there. Um, so some florals come into play in the heart. Um, it's a floral oud. And my scoring, I, like a three out of five kind of thing. I don't I don't ever judge an, an oud. I just give it its properties and let you decide and you... Oud's kind of like you pick the properties you like about the oud. Earthiness, smokiness, leather, incense. Maybe I'll pop up the graphic when I'm talking about this. Um, woods, um, metallics, aquatics. Yeah, oud has all of those. Not all at once. Different ouds feature different things. And then you find out which, oh yeah, I like the ouds like that. And, you know, when when there are those notes are very prominent in the oud, man, give me a bottle, give me a tola kind of thing. So the, yeah, this is a good deal for perfume, 75 ml for 400 bucks. I mean, a lot of two and a half gram oods go for that much at 300 bucks. So that's the take into consideration. And I, I think a gram is equal to 10 ml per use. So that's 25 ml on two and a half grams three grams, so it'd be seven and a half grams, 400 bucks, just so you guys get an idea of cost and, and layering what you're getting. Yeah, if you want an oud to layer with, th this is also a perfect perfume for that. So I love layering with oud, so you get your perfumes last longer and give them just that extra depth, your, your florals, even your powders and, and whatnot, you just give them this extra oomph on your skin. This is a great, great perfume to own to actually put that oud down, lay it down, and then put your other perfumes on top of. Perfect oud for that. My uh, fragrance, in my opinion, compared to perfumer notes, 100%. Palo Santo and oud, 100%. It's everything. This is good oud. Um, I'm scoring this. I'm gonna score this as a perfume. So addictiveness on this, 11 out of 15. OG factor. That is included with that score. Projection of Siage, five out of five. Everybody will smell the suit on you. Longevity, 
didn't hit this in the, the notes because I really don't want to um, be mean, but one out of five, it didn't last that long. It did not last that long on my skin compared to real oud oil. Four hours, it was pretty much faded to you guys that, like, if you hear me say this last four hours, last 12 hours for you, this will last 12 hours for you uh, on your skin. My, my skin eats oud like nothing. I do have a few ouds that the uh, Aroha and different ones that will last a lot longer. But for the most part, this was done four hours. Composition 20 out of 25. The oud changed, great oud. Ingredients, priced ML, 22 out of 25 for sure. Real ingredients. Top on this one, 10 out of 10. Heart on this one, four out of five. And then the base, because it faded, uh, two out of 10. 75 is the total. Um, get a decamp of this one. Uh, this is more of a personal space fragrance. Um, if you have your own office, you can wear oud in there where you'd wear oud. If you're first time buying oud, definitely don't. If you're gonna be around people all day, oud can turn people off who don't know it. So take that into mind. Um, if you layer it with other fragrances, it hides it and, and pronounces those really well. And it's, it's pleasing, uh, play around with it. Not a first time resume for sure. So that before it's it now. Um, win year round, all day long. Who do I see wearing this one? Russell Simmons. How many sprays for me? One or three for me. The wrists, the head hit the garment a bit. So it lasts a little bit longer. That's what I have. Thanks for checking out the review. House of Ood, Crop 2018. Peace out guys, be blessed.